want to take a few minutes here to talk about the uh, t-shirt and hat idea of putting you know the new website kjvm.org on hats and t-shirts to kind of get the word out a little bit better and I need to start out with a rebuke of some of the people in the comments section of when I announced the new website and they were saying you know don't turn the ministry into a business you know and, and uh, you shouldn't you know boy you're really kind of gaining here and I don't know about this stuff um, the Lord rebuke you for what you've said if this ministry was about money, if this ministry was about uh, a business and I'm trying to get rich off of it or whatever else, I would never have preached the kind of things that I preach. Um, I can be a very uh, charismatic preacher and I can say the kind of things that would not offend people. Um, I've spoken the truth and it has cost us dearly. Um, I've lost a lot of people. I've had people request their donations back. I've had, you know, people come in, they're really excited. They've seen a few videos and then they see me st taking a stand on something else and they don't understand. You know, I'm just trying to get the truth out. I don't hate people. And they'll just, boom, cut off their donations. And I'm not very uh, careful to tiptoe through the tithers, as many preachers are. I just come out with it. And if I offend people, well, that's not my actual intent. But if it happens, it happens, you know. And um, so to kind of claim that I'm, I have a new website now and, oh, it's so nice and looks beautiful. And, you know, instead of being happy for me, you know, oh, I, I don't know here, Dan Langer, there's a, you looks like you're trying to become a multi-millionaire, maybe Kenneth Copeland, the next Kenneth Copeland or something. I could never become a Kenneth Copeland even if I wanted to, all right, because I won't sell my soul to Satan as that man has. Um, and to imply that I'm trying to get to that. It's really an insult, okay? Um, you know, there's a weird spirit that I've seen over the years with my ministry. The ministry the Lord has given to me, you know, oh, it's, your, it's my ministry. <sighs> Understand uh, what I'm trying to say here. But this weird spirit is, whenever we prosper, whenever the Lord, you know, uh, I say we had to get another vehicle or something like that, there's somebody out there, oh, it must be nice to get another vehicle, you know. Oh, uh, hey, you know, we're looking for another property. Hey, the Lord answered our prayers. We got a really nice place now for the ministry. Oh, must be nice. You know, I think it's kind of becoming apparent what Denlinger's really after. He's after money. And, uh, you know, uh, like I said, may the Lord rebuke you if you're saved. And if you're lost, uh, then uh, congratulations. You're earning your damnation being just a, a filthy liar uh, like that. Just very much angers me. Um, I guess, you know, according to some of these people, you know, I'm on one of our trails right now. I should probably build some place right, way back in the woods there. And I should have this building and then there's no sign out there and I don't advertise and whatever. And every week I preach the word back there at my church building. And uh, then I sulk and complain because nobody comes. You know, I guess the Lord's just supposed to mysteriously make people in their heads go walk back through the woods. There's a church back there or something, a meeting of Christians. Just trying to prove a point here. Oh, it's not fair. You know, nobody comes. Well, you have to go out. You have to get the word out. You have to publish the word. Let people know. You know, and right now there's a very huge dearth of uh, people understanding the Bible. I have to get to those people. Better me than the other, the modern churches. You know, how do I do that? Uh, without a good website. Without any kind of way to advertise. I mean, I can't rely on the YouTube algorithms and Google and whoever else online. So what do I do? I have to come up with offline ways to get the ministry known. And some of you get it. Some of you are there to help me. Some of you want to see me grow and, and you put out tracks with the website name on it or, hey, check out Born Again Barbarian. And you come up with creative ways. Lord puts it into your heart. You say, I know Brother Brian's there. I know he'll tell the truth. He doesn't compromise like the other preachers do. So I want to try to do whatever I can. I can't donate, you know, to him or... I can donate a little bit amount, uh, whatever, but I want to get tracks out. I want to get things out that have his ministry contact information. I mean, this is the 21st century, brethren. That's what we have to do now, all right? Obviously, back when I was a little boy, there was no website or anything that you could go to to see about a ministry. There wasn't anything like that. Um, there is now. So, um, you know, it just angers me. I don't know if you saw that flying over there, two hummingbirds. But, um, you know, people that call themselves friends of the ministry, and yet they stab me in the back when they get a chance. You know, try to make it into some kind of a thing where, 
um, you know, I'm all about the money or something. And, and let me just say this, too. Okay, let's say I'm all about the money, all right? And it comes out that uh, I got so many donations, I went up to 100,000 subscribers and, and uh, all kinds of people coming along and some very wealthy man gets saved and he says, I'm going to give you $10 million, $10 million donated to the ministry. What do you think I'm going to do with that money? Seriously, what do you think I'm going to do? Do you think I'm going to retire from the ministry and go off to buy some tropical island or something someplace? Or, you know, go way out in the middle of nowhere and never do a video again or something? I mean, I mean, don't you understand the spirit behind this ministry? Don't you understand what I'm all about? Well, I've watched you for years, Brian, and I still think that you're all about the money. Well, then stop watching, please. I don't need a troll like you watching the ministry, quite frankly. Um, you see a man that's willing to fight and fight hard. You say, I want to support that ministry. I know that this ministry is going places. You know, we struggled for a very long time. I mean, working below the poverty level, you know, just barely making ends meet. You know, I mean, we've, we've suffered over the years very much, uh, you know, and thankfully there's brethren that have come along and have said, okay, we're going to donate and it, and we've had some, you know, great donations and things. And I appreciate that. And that's between you and the Lord. Don't, please don't put it in the comments. You know, I'm going to send you this much, you know, don't do that, please. Um, that's between you and God, what you give. But we've had some of that where people say, I really believe in what you're doing. I see the ministry going places. I see the prosperity of God's servant there. Not that I'm driving around a Rolls Royce or something and wearing diamond rings or, you know, <laughs> something like that. Uh, I'm not going to do that stuff, brethren. Whatever money we make, this ministry is going to grow. And I want to make this ministry reach more people. And that's what the hat and the t-shirt thing is all about. Um, find a way to, uh, you know, help to promote the website. Oh, you said promote, that means make money. Yeah, if you believe that way, please stop. Just don't even watch the videos anymore, okay? I really don't want you around. Um, it's, it's just so extremely insulting to me. Um, so, uh, what I would like to have is, I would like to have anybody out there um, let me know of different websites or something where I could go and design shirts and hats and whatever else. Um, you know, or if there is somebody out there that says, hey, I'm a professional, I can do this thing. Uh, I don't really even need to make much money from it. That's Again, that's not what it's about. Um, I just want the truth to get out there and people can advertise the ministry apart from internet type of thing. Um, I'd like, really like to get a lot of traffic coming to the website because it just, it sickens me to see people that want to know about God and the Bible and they get led into all these false ministries. These ministers of Satan get them and they make merchandise of them. And I, I want to stop that. I'd like to actually be able to, um, you know, be able to get to people. And I realize the Lord can lead people to me. I, I get all that, you know, to this ministry so that they can learn the truth. But, um, you know, if you can help out the ministry, if you know of somebody or you have a, a t-shirt slash hat thing or something that you can do um, and you want to work with me on a design that can lead people to the website well let me know um, and uh, you can either send me a letter through the post office or just uh, you know maybe put something down in the comment section or whatever else and you know I don't like people putting their contact info you know, down in the comments section. Or I can get back to blocking the sun now so you can see me a little bit better. Um, because then you get trolls and whatever else, you know, coming to you. But um, if you have a, uh, I can't have a publicly available email address because I just was, we were getting hundreds of emails every day and it, I can't possibly cover all of that. Um, <clears throat> so, but if you would have, if anybody out there has a, way to make hats and t-shirts and whatever else and you'd like to actually design something um, maybe make a design or something print out the design and send it to me through the post office um, the P.O. Box 214 P.O. Box 214 Patton, Maine P-A-T-T-E-N, Maine 04765 uh, that's the ministry 
uh, P.O. Box. Send me something and just say, yeah, I'd like to make you the hats and the t-shirts. And you can even make money off it. I don't even care. Um, you know, you want to take care of the whole thing and we just, I send people to you or whatever. Send them to your website. That'd be fine. Um, I don't, it doesn't matter to me. I want to get the word out. I want to get people to know about this ministry. I mean, if this ministry ever goes mainstream, I'm going to be attacked bad. And I'm ready for that, you know. I'm not going to enjoy it probably, but I'm ready for it. I accept it. I say, well, you know, whatever the will of the Lord is, I will be okay with that. Now we're back to the sunlight's angled down pretty low, so uh, getting hit with some strong sunlight here. And there's, speaking of sun, there's my sun. I can't even see the thing. Ah, man. There he is. I think or something. I don't know if I can see him or not. Yeah, but uh, well, that sunlight is just blinding me right now. Um, I'll stand behind this tree here for a little bit and uh, finish the video. But uh, so that's the issue with the, the shirts and the hats and things. And I have other plans as well. Um, maybe get some people that are better with video and things in the future to help me with video stuff and you know tracks and whatever else that we could get out you know i want the ministry to grow brethren and um you know like i said if i start making a lot of money well it's just going to mean more dedication more time serving the lord that's all it's going to mean i i mean there is there is nothing else for me out there in this world there you know i mean i have the ability to hike around the property here and uh do things and go fishing and whatever i haven't even been fishing this year you know, August 23rd, and I haven't gone fishing once. And we, you know, it's a way to get food, too, so it's not just for fun. You know, we haven't gone canoeing or kayaking or anything, or we've only hiked a couple times because I'm dedicated. I want to learn. I want to study. That stuff takes time. I have to answer people's emails and, and whatever else. So, um, just please, uh, enough with the whole thing of... Uh, you know that this is a minister or this is being turned into a business please don't do that again that's very insulting to me so um, that is going to be it thank you to everybody out there for your support of this ministry and um, let's make this ministry grow that's my my goal and my desire I'm willing to fight uh, where no other preacher will fight so um, that is going to be it thank you very much for watching snake I just spotted down in there. See him? Wow. It's like, okay, don't, don't move. You're covering it with your shadow there. It's kind of like the people in the, uh, some of my viewers, they're snakes. <laughs> there's one there, and then there's another one right up here, right there, you can see it. Trying to get warm in the morning here. It's always a, not much fun having snakes in your wood pile. <laughs> but thankfully, we only get garter snakes around here. There are no rattlesnakes, so we don't really have to worry about it too much. But, um, oh, yeah. yeah.